Welcome back, everybody, to the NBA 2K22 My NBA Expansion Series with the Scouts. And today, we may or may not be wrapping up the regular season here in the final season because if we get to this day, March 26th, which is going to be before the showcase game against the Pacers that I want to watch, then uh, depending on how far back we are from the Bulls or how close we are, we will go from there and see... Uh, where things lie on how we want to handle the rest of the year after the Pacers game. So without further ado, let's sim a couple of games and see where things are at after these next eight or so games. So we have simmed 10 games and we went 7-3 and three in those 10 games, which means that we are one and a half games back from the Bulls. So actually, instead of watching a game against the Pacers, what if we sim to the Bulls game and watch another game against them? We watched one earlier this year in which I think we won the game. And if we can beat them again, then we could potentially jump in front of them at the very end of the year for the one seed. So I think I'll sim the Pacers game and then we'll watch this game on the first against Chicago. So I sim the Pacers game. We actually won that game by one point. So we missed out on a pretty good game there. Uh, but then we had four days off, and Chicago now has a two-game lead over us in the conference with about seven game, six games to go for both teams. So we have to really outclass them. So let's watch this game against the Bulls today, and let's check these box scores real quick. So first, we took down the Hornets by 33 at home. Weaver drops 26 and 10. Ronnie Jordan 24. Antonio Graves 22. And then Bowman 20. So a good day for the offense with 130 points. Roy Valentine 13 boards. The Hornets had 16 for Outlaw, but Cole Anthony, rough day for him. Then we took down the Raptors on the road, 26 and 8 for Tyrese Halliburton. The Scouts had 22 for Weaver, 21, 9 and 7 for Ronnie Jordan, 17 for Banks, 14 for Bowman, 12 more boards for Valentine, three steals and three blocks for Antonio Graves. Good defensive day for him, and we come out on top. Then we took down the Jazz on the road, 25 here for Sean Warwick, 18 for Singleton, Giannis. Did not play in this one. The Scouts had 29 for Jordan, 20 for Bowman, 18 for Weaver. Then we lost at home by 10 to New York. Ronnie Jordan puts up 25. Kirk Bank 17. Bowman 15. The Knicks had 21 and 11 here for Stephen Waters. We bounce back with a win against the Trailblazers at home. 29 here for Weaver, 18 for Jordan, and for Bowman. Banks and Mullen also both get 16. But also 16 boards for Mullen, too, so a good day for him on the glass. Meanwhile, Portland had 15 for DeJounte Murray. Then Don Dunn and the Kings drop 50 in the fourth quarter to come back and beat us by 7 at home. Don Dunn, 30 points, 24 Cortez, and 15 for Brad Ryder. The scouts had 26 for Weaver and 24 for Ronnie Jordan. Then returning home, the scouts take down the Pelicans by 21 points. 22 here for Graves, 20 for Weaver, 12 for Jordan and for Banks. The Pelicans had 20 for Ruben Hunter and 18 for Hayward. Then a fourth quarter comeback win against the Celtics at home. A three-point win where Ronnie Jordan drops 39, 7-4. A great day for him. Weaver drops 16 points, 9 assists. The Celtics had 21 and 13 for Elton Mayo, 19 for Ben Long, and Pitar Bergaric, 13, 16, and 6. Then we took down the Cavaliers by 16 points at home. Weaver drops 28. Antonio Graves drops 23. Jordan, 13 points. The Cavaliers got 25 from Garland, 13 for Sexton. On the road, Brooklyn takes us down by 7. Mark Pope, 24 and 9. Gabrielle Westbrook, 21. The scouts had 22 for Jordan, 17 for Banks, 15 for Mullen, 12 for Weaver. And our last game was that one point win at home against the Pacers. Sucks that we missed it, but uh, Weaver drops 25, Jordan 21, 8 and 10, Kirk Banks 21. The Pacers had 29 and 13 for Lamont and Morrison, uh, 22 for Williams and 20 for Madsen. So now we're going to go on the road to Chicago 
And if we win this game, we're going to be one game back from them with about five games left on the schedule. So a really big game right here. The one seed race is heating up, folks. Here we go against John ja Morant, Cat, and the Bulls. Our second matchup against them on the road this year. We watched one a couple episodes back, and we are back again to try and take another game off of them and hopefully make our chances of getting the one seed a lot higher as Weaver scores the first bucket of the game. Porter takes it inside. He scores for the first Chicago bucket. Weaver wide open three. He's got all five for Kansas City. Kevin Porter hands off to Katz. Nice pick and roll. Ronnie Jordan for three. Top of the key. That one drops. Katz. Tough finish at the rim over Roy Valentine. Great work. Backdoor cut by Jordan. Weaver finds him. Great pass. Pat drives again, but this time we force the miss. Jordan, another open three. It's good again. The scouts have not missed a shot. Kevin Porter Jr. gets inside. Weaver goes to Banks. And he can't score, but drew the foul on Glover. First free throw is up and good. Taking two shots. And Kirk Banks goes two for two. The scouts have scored on every possession so far. John Morant got the switch. He penetrates. And Kirk Banks got the stop and the board. Fantastic. Jordan, the runner off the glass and in. This offense has just got off to an amazing start here. McKinney, decent look at a three, but left that one short. Valentine feeds Graves' mismatch against John Morant. The spin and the shot, no good. That's our first miss. Now a mismatch for Cat on Graves. And he scores again. He's got six points. Weaver finds Jordan once again. That backdoor cuts. Proving useful so far. Jordan's got 12 points. Now a really wild shot there by John Morant. Not a good look right there. Time cutting down for the scouts. Weaver has the ball. Has to pull up. That shot's no good. Katz at the rim. No good. Valentine. Solid stop. And now Valentine the cut. Wide open in the paint. Jordan found him. 21 to 10. Porter off the screen. Working on Weaver. Now he goes back out. Resets the offense. And then has to jack up a three. Mismatch for Valentine. Working on Porter. And a jump shot that Valentine knocks down. Hit a couple of those last episode. And we'll take that every time. A deep three once again for John Morant that rattles out. He has not off to a good start. Weaver goes to Valentine. The layup is good. It's 25 to 10. The scouts are on fire trying to prove why they should be the number one seed here in the Eastern Conference. And Chicago has to call timeout. We jump ahead with just below nine to go here in the first half and we are up by 22 points 57 to 35 as Porter's floater right there makes it 20 but we dropped 47 points in the first quarter just insane offense we are already close to 60 not even halfway through the quarter so we are looking good Weaver goes to Jordan once again and he has had a great day so far as has the rest of this team. And now Porter called for a charge. Nothing going right for Chicago at home. And their fans are not happy about it. 
Valentine spins, lost the ball. Porter got the steal. Now a fast break for Chicago if they want it. Glover over. Banks left that one short. Weaver to Jordan. Wide open three. Roddy Jordan has been absolutely spectacular. McKinney drives and dunks. Jordan lobs it for Banks. The great pass and the great finish. 64 points with seven to go in the second quarter. John Morant's really tough fadeaway shot. No good. Cat gets the board and puts it back in. Weaver. A running three. What a shot. Nothing is going wrong for Kansas City. We have made eight more threes than they have. They have to call timeout once again. The fans here are all quiet. Cat at the rim. Scores again. Bowman fading away. Misses that one, but Valentine got the board. And he can't get those second chance points. Now, Cat again. Really tough shot over Banks, but he scores once again. He's got 16 points. Has shot the ball very well. Jordan attacks the rim. The bucket is no good, but a foul is called on Towns. First free throw is good. Jordan back up to 20 points per game on the year. Was below that point for quite a while. But he knocks down both. And we're up by 24. Wow. D. Foster. His first bucket off the bench here this quarter. That was way too easy. But they have shot very well. They have shot 63%. We just have shot 73%. So... Morant penetrates, and that shot drops. Weaver off the double screen, finds a lane. Great move to just adjust midair and score. 71 points here in the first half. John Morant fires a three, but left it short. He is two for seven from the field. Mismatch for Valentine. Jordan finds him. Back him down, big man. Yes, sir. Great move. They call timeout again. E. Foster penetrates, gets past Valentine, and scores a tough one. Weaver hands off to Big Roy, and who is that? Glover just let him dunk all over him. E. Foster can't connect from deep. Boston lobs it for Banks. We love this play, but this time it does not work. And now Foster, a wide open three, same spot. This time it's good. We're gonna try this one again, and this time it works. We love those alley oops to Kirk Banks. Foster scores that one over Weaver. Another lob for Banks, and it just keeps on working. 79 points with two minutes to play. Foster pulls up off the screen, but can't knock it down. Weaver, five on the shot clock. Takes it inside behind the back pass to Valentine, who scores. 81. Wow, nice move by John Morant as he stuffs all over Kirk Banks. One of the very few highlights for him here in the first half. Arnie Jordan, ISO on Highland. He pulls up and knocks it down. What a first half for Ronnie Jordan. He's got 23 points. He has not missed a single shot. Highland spins and can't finish. Ronnie Jordan, a great stop and the board. Hendricks hands off to Mullen. What a layup. Tyler Mullen. Oh my god. Can you guys believe what we're seeing here? 85 first half points. And potentially more. Foster for three. It rattles out. This is absurd. Last shot of the first half will go for us. 
Jordan's got the ball, and now a foul is called on Foster. We're not in the bonus, though, so we have to go for a inbound play to wrap up the first half. And Jordan has now missed a shot. But 85 to 58. That could be our highest half-only score that I've ever seen. With 5.42 to play in the third quarter, the scouts lead 100 to 62. It has been an utter dismantling of the Chicago Bulls, who are supposed to be the best team in the conference and potentially the entire league. But the scouts have shown that we are the team to beat. We shot 75% in the first half. Mullen scores at the rim. Great assist there by... Hendricks, but I mean, we have never seen anything like this before. We could be on track for a team record here. McKinney draws the foul on Ananobi. The first free throw is good. Darius Spellman fades away. That shot drops. Owens Highland slips inside. Nice move. Great pass there to Bowman by Hendricks. And they will call goaltending on Darrell Bayless. Time cutting down for the Bulls, but Kenny has to force a shot. Antonio Gray will take it himself and score. How are there so many fans still here? They have 10 rebounds. There are three and a half minutes left here in the quarter, and they have 10 rebounds. McKinney off the screen, takes it inside, and he's fouled and got the bucket as well. They call that one on Tyler Mullen. And McKinney knocks it down once again. Mismatch for Antonio Graves. He spins and fires, but missed it. Highland pulls up. That shot drops. Bowman. Nice little fake spin. Then he actually spun. Gets inside and lays that one in. Nice job down low. McKinney. Nice pass to Washington. Graves feeds Bowman. Back and down. Washington once again. And this time it's blocked. And he steps out of bounds trying to get his own rebound. Bulls take over. Time cutting down. Hasselhoff has to force the shot. Good stop there by Hendricks. We feed and an OB down low. Rooker on Bones, but a steal instead for Highland. And he will take it himself and lay that one in. Nice, strong finish. Hendricks. Oh, that's a wild shot. Don't love that. A deep three for Bones, but it's offline. Bowman on the low block once again, but can't score this time. And the Bulls have the last shot of the quarter. Island trying to penetrate. Graves solid defense. And the quarter is over as we lead 110 to 77. So 4-12 to play. We're going to watch the last couple of highlights of the game before we wrap things up here. We lead by 21 as we have not scored very well here in the fourth quarter. And the Bulls have, but many of their fans have already left. Hendricks, nice layup and the foul. The assist by a Weaver. That puts the scouts in the bonus. The free throw by Hendricks is good. John Morant, nice pass to McKinney, but it's blocked by Hendricks. Great job. Wow, he was wide open. 
Valentine tries to find Bowman. The ball is tipped to him, and he scores. Porter drives and hits the runner off the glass. Weaver, wide open three. That one is good. Wow, Hendricks, another great steal off of John Morant. Fantastic. Weaver drives too quick for the Chicago defense. McKinney wide open three off the double team. Weaver takes the screen, penetrates, and has the shot blocked. Got it back and puts it in. Fantastic awareness right there as the ball just dropped right back to him. John Morant for three. That one drops. Arnie Jordan trying to get one last bucket, which he will. The scouts go on the road and completely annihilate and embarrass the Chicago Bulls. What a performance by that man and by that team. Foster drops 21 in the loss. Cat goes for 20. John Morant and McKinney both get 19 points. The Scouts got 27 from Ronnie Jordan, 26 and 12 for Weaver, 23 for Graves, 20 and 10 for Banks, and 12 and 12 for Roy Valentine. Danny Hendricks, 8 points, 9 assists. Fantastic stuff overall by this team. We shot extremely well, and we came out on top in just fantastic fashion. And that means that we have cut their lead in half. They are up on us by one game, and there are five games left on the schedule. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to sim the next couple of games, see where things lie, and go from there. So let's sim these next two games. So we won one game, we lost the other one, and we are still one game back from Chicago. We took down Orlando on the road by 17 points, 25 for Porter, 21 for Kyrie. The scouts got 28 for Weaver and 17 for Jordan and for Bowman. We did, though, lose to the one-seed Clippers over in the West by 14 points on the road. 27 here for Darren Lambert. The scouts had 19 for Bowman, 18 and 10 for Jordan, and 14 for Graves, but nobody else scored well at all. We have simmed through the Cavs game. We took them down. The Bulls lost their game. We are tied for first place. Weaver drops 24 in the win. Bowman and Banks get double doubles. The Cavaliers had 30 for Garland. Nobody else scored more than nine. And Ronnie Jordan had 14 points as well. We have two games left. And if we end up with the same record as the Bulls, then we will have the one seed thanks to our tiebreaker. So here's what's going to happen. Right now, of course, we are tied with the Bulls for the one seed, but we have the tiebreaker, so right now we're in first. If we lose this game against the Heat, we have to watch this game against the Celtics. If we win this game against the Heat, then we will have clinched the one seed. So let's sim this game. We took down the Heat, but I was wrong. If the Bulls won their game, then we're still tied. And so, with one game left on the year, next episode, if we win or the Bulls lose, we take the first seed in the Eastern Conference. This has come down to the absolute wire, maybe our closest finish of the entire series in terms of trying to clinch the one seed. And we have to take on the Boston Celtics next episode if we're going to do that. Or the Bulls have to lose. Chandler dropped 23 points for the Heat. Devin Cartwright 16 points for his new team against his former one. 
The scouts had 23 for Weaver, 16 for Graves, 15 for Jordan. A big double-double there for Bowman. And what a finish this has turned out to be on the season. So next episode, our opponent is the Celtics. They are currently the four seed, and they have pretty much clinched the four seed. They're not going to be going up or down in the rankings. They are the four seed for sure, and we have to beat them to clinch the one seed. Or the Heat, not the Heat, the Bulls have to lose to the Detroit Pistons. We have to root for the Pistons to beat the Bulls. Or we could root for ourselves, believe in ourselves, and just not care about this Bulls game. But as a fail safe, the Pistons have to win that game against the Bulls. So what a finish to the year. Next episode is the finale to the regular season of the final season. That is how things will wrap up here today, folks. Next episode is one of the biggest ones of the season. So until then, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment down below, and go Scouts.